Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I'm at Lake Amistad Recreation Area, and this is the San Pedro unit. This is a camping ground, campground right on the lake, or close to the lake. Well, what used to be the lake. The lake is very low. <clears throat> and it's uh, it's really inexpensive. I think it's like $3.50 a night, uh, but it's, it's boondocking, or it's dry camping, because there's no hookups. There, there may be water available, I can't remember. I've been here a couple of times, a long time ago. But this is the entry road, it's not too bad. Uh, it can be a little rough, but we're gonna go slow. I'm not in a hurry, I just wanna, I wanna see who's camping today, why? Because the wind's out of the north, the temperature is 34 degrees and dropping. The wind's out of the north at about 25 miles an hour. And, and that's kind of what separates the men from the boys, so to speak, on this camping stuff because you get out here and the weather forecast they missed you know it was supposed to be in the 40s today and uh and 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 of course it was supposed to be cloudy and, and maybe a little misty rain but it's going to be freezing here in a little bit it looks like they're going to have maybe some ice and stuff later today and uh, but i'll be heading back for that yeah it's the san pedro unit unit uh Lake Amistad, you do have a good Verizon cell phone signal here, but uh, there's no, there, the, and, the, and the sites are kind of improved, you know, they have a little, little tables and stuff, I'll show you in just a minute, but I just want to see if there's anybody here that got caught, you know, because, see the deal on a day like this, when you don't have, if you're here in a travel trailer and all you got is your propane heater, uh, you're going to use up all your propane in about two days here, you know, because you start running a propane heater in a motor home or a, a, a travel trailer fifth wheel or whatever, those things suck up the propane big time, man, big time. So we're gonna go up here and we'll see. It's not much further. Yes, <laughs> the temperature is dry. When I got to uh, Del Rio earlier today, I went to Walmart, it was 39 degrees, now it's 34, but the wind is blowing pretty good out of the north pretty good and that's what gets you is the wind man it's the combination of the temperature and the wind and particularly when it starts that misty raining particularly if it starts to sleep <laughs> have i ever been caught out like this hell yes yeah the worst for me was as far as cold weather was in the uh, toyota prius when i was camping in it i was in crestone colorado at a national forest campground and uh, elevation about 8,500 feet. It was in May, and all of a sudden the temperature started dropping, the wind got out of the north. Next thing you know, it was snowing, and I woke up the next morning, uh, it was in the evening, and I woke up the next morning, there was probably a foot of snow on the ground. <laughs> God, I've never been in a foot of snow in my life, you know? So anyway, we're, we're getting closer. I thought it was closer than this, but yeah, we, it, it makes a loop. You know, we'll stay on this road here, go straight in, and then it makes a loop and comes back out. But yeah, again, this is Lake Amistad Recreation Area, San Pedro unit, okay? And it's just, it's unimproved camping. I don't, I'm not even sure they have water available here. I know there's no hookups of any kind. I say no hookups of any kind. I mean, there's no sewer or water hookups. But it's cheap, $3.50 a day. Well, I think that's if you have the senior pass, might be, or it's $6, maybe it's $3 for people with a senior, or the, yeah, you know, the federal senior pass. You know, this, you go in this way and then it loops around and comes back out. Uh, I see one fifth wheel over there. <laughs> I see the bodies outside. <laughs> Boy, these are days, but you know, if, 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 if you're set up where you can keep your unit warm, these are really cozy days, you know what I mean? Snuggle up with a good old book and stuff. Yeah, it's great. If you're prepared, if you're not, you're gonna be totally miserable, man. If you're in a tent, you're dead, dead. I mean, no, it's, it's a, yeah, this is a toughie here today. But yeah, there's a, we're starting to, we get into the campground here and now. <coughs> That's a campsite on the right there where that, trash can is there you can have, that's a pull through site and yeah you can take a look at them that's kind of the way they are but there's no hookup they're, they're good sites and that's a perfect one there for a pull through site yeah that's muy bueno there you got your own trash can got a little grill and uh, here's a couple more here 
these may be tent sites here, I'm not sure. But yeah, if, if there's nobody there, they, they'll be, that's good for an RV. <clears throat> Notice there's nobody here though, right? Not exactly crowded, you know what I mean? And, uh, but I actually, that kind of surprised me because, you know, for the price, you know, usually the snowbirds, you know, people coming from up north and different places, you know, they look for places like this because you can stay here for two weeks, you know, at three, four dollars a day, whatever it happens to be. You ain't gonna beat that. You know, it's got an outhouse or what do they call those old vault toilets. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of campsites down to the right, but I believe that's tents only. Is that right? Well, it's a group site to the right. It, never mind, second one up here is the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. But it's, and Del Rio is just, you know, five or six miles down the road from here. So, you know, you got gasoline, Walmart and all that stuff within, you know, within 15 minutes from right here. So is that good? Hell yeah. I mean, if you're freezing, you can thaw out in the store. You know, there's some campsites to the right there, but it says tent camping only. Have I seen RVs in there? Yeah, I don't, th yeah, I don't think they monitor it that well. I mean, if there's nobody there, no tents or anything, you know, why not let somebody park their RV? But there's a vault toilet there. And a good campsite is right past uh, this pavilion here. Well, let me go down. I'll show you. Well, it's down here. It's the one I usually stay at. I'll show you. Yeah, there's a few people here, looks like. I'll count them in a minute. But I'll go down and I'll show you this good campsite. Give one of my tips here. And, uh, yeah, again, San Pedro unit, Lake Amistad Recreation Area, Texas right near Del Rio, right on the Rio Grande, right on the Texas-Mexico border. Straight ahead is a campsite, okay? The best one in the whole place. It's a back end if you got a RV, but no, it's private right here. I mean, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good site right here. Got a nice view and uh, yeah, when it's not, uh, well right now it shows to be 34 still, so it's holding at 34, but the wind's blowing right out of the north you'd be inside right now I guarantee you so we'll kind of make the loop here and I'll end this video you know but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you this so it looks like got a, got a guy here in the fifth wheel in a red truck I'll turn so you can see him but you know he's definitely running his his heater right now okay I mean I guarantee you hope you had I hope you had full tanks of propane because if he didn't you're gonna regret it how long will the 10, uh, 20 pound tank last? Not very long. You might be able to get three or four days out of one if you're running it. If you're running your furnace uh, 24 hours a day, he's got solar for electrical, but he ain't gonna run any heat off that. So we got one there, and then two, three. We got three campers in here, and usually at this time of the year, this place is pretty busy, and it ain't well. <laughs> they all, but, you know, they get caught. See, this the weather forecast is wrong, man. That's all I can tell you. You know, that's a good old double axle fifth wheel there. Big old good and got three air conditioners on the top. And uh, he, he doesn't need the AC. He needs some heat. And this old boy is from Texas. Got him a dually to pull that thing with. $100,000 truck pulling a $100,000 RV. Here's another one, a uh, travel trailer. He's from Texas. These guys may be working around here because there's a lot of stuff going on because of the border issues and got a lot of building and stuff going on. In fact, I think they're remodeling a hotel for the Department of Public Safety personnel to live in while they're doing their two-week shifts down here. And, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh... <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Yeah, when I got caught out there in Crestone, I made up my mind, boy. No, no. But of course, in the Prius, you know, you, you, I could set the temperature in the Toyota Prius at 68 degrees and it would stay there, hot or cold, you know, because the Prius was a hybrid, you know, it's battery and with a motor. And uh, yeah, it's just like you pulled up to a red light and uh, the, the, it'll run on battery till the battery gets low and then the motor cuts on for four to five minutes, charges the battery and cuts off. Best, it's the best electric generator they ever made. A Toyota, I oh, scratch it. Yeah, Toyota Prius. No kidding. But anyway, guys, I'll end the video. Just wanted to give you a heads up on cold weather camping. Uh, there's not too many brave souls here at the San Pedro unit at Amistad, I guarantee you. Anyway, guys, from 
Lake Amistad, San Pedro unit, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, and enjoy your life. And if you're out camping and you get caught in the cold weather, I don't know what to tell you. Stay warm, best way you can. Bye.